you are speaking with a girl, or maybe you haven't got to this stage yet, maybe you're still ruminating in your own egoic self-absorption. Let's say you're speaking with a girl, and you're worried about running out of things to say, all right? It's a very common beginner sticking point. Guys are always like, how do I stop running out of things to say? Or I keep running out of things to say. How do I keep the conversation going? Please help. P.S. How tall are you? Uh, six foot one on a sunny day. So the first thing that I'm going to say, very, very straightforward, is stay transparency. All right? You run out of shit to say. Guess fucking what? This is a normal part of conversation. We're not robots. We're not machines. We will always run out of things to say, especially if you are having longer conversations. Spontaneous conversations are naturally chaotic, okay? So the best advice I can give you, when you have run out of things to say, simply announce it, all right? Name that elephant in the room and make it playful, all right? So let's say you're speaking with a gobsmackingly gorgeous girl. You've run out of shit to say. You're not sure what the next move needs to be. You simply say, oh, fuck, I was, um, I was going to say something then, but my mind has gone completely blind. I don't know if that happens to you sometimes. I know you like, speak into someone your mind just goes blank like come on you're gonna have to help me out like give me something to say otherwise this is gonna get awkward we're gonna have to start talking about our families and hashtag feelings and stuff right so you make it playful but by announcing it you humanize your conversations right she's gonna be speaking with you thinking okay this is a real guy he's not trying to masquerade and come across as this paragon of perfection he's simply saying it as it is right so when you can announce your state when you can be more transparent with your state it's not in, it's not done in that it's nonsense supplicated please help me i'm a sniveling mess type of way it's like listen my mind's going a little bit blank right now don't worry it's fine i can deal with it that's the true essence of confidence no matter what you can handle it so you're speaking with a girl your mind's gone blank you're thinking shit 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 what do i say that becomes your conversation material, right? You name that elephant in the room, you break the fourth wall, and by breaking the fourth wall, by saying to her, I've run out of things to say, say it with a smile on your face, make sure your delivery's on point, then she can feel your human essence as a man, all right? She's like, finally, someone can just announce it. Someone can just say it as it is, and he's not trying to hide behind his own insecurities. The second thing I'll say about running out of things to say is, if you are constantly running out of things to talk about, you're probably not doing enough interesting things in your life. Right? I'm always banging on to you. Learn day game, don't become a day game, and make sure you've got a life outside of this. Because the more interesting things you do throughout your life, the more conversation material you have, and you can then include the girl in these narratives. All right? So what this means in plain fucking English is, let's say I went to a salsa class last thursday all right so i went to a salsa class last thursday this can then become what i call my mind blank move these are little gambits that you can bring into your conversation whenever your mind goes blank so right i know if my mind goes blank and i don't want to be like oh i've run out of things to say you might not want to be transparent with your state for whatever reason maybe you feel awkward doing it then bring in one of these mind blank moves all right so i know i've been to salsa and i know this is a topic I can include this girl in. So what this looks like in practical terms is speak with a girl, my mind's gone blank, and then I remember my mind blank move of going to a salsa class, all right? So I bring this into the conversation. I say, yeah, I um, I went to a salsa class last Thursday. And you then bring in the following phrase, I can imagine you. I can imagine you being at salsa, throwing some crazy moves, showing everybody up. Wait, have you been to salsa before? She's like, no, I've never been. Or maybe, yeah, I've tried it a few times. I'll tell you what, on our second date, we're going to go salsa dancing. So drop me a number, I'll send you one message, and then you can do whatever you want with that message. So what you're doing here is you're using your lifestyle to fuel your conversation. So it's one thing doing things, but it's another thing reminding yourself to talk about the things that you're doing. Guys always forget to use themselves as a topic of conversation. This is why it's essential for you to be doing things outside of day game, things that you can talk about, interesting things which create interesting topics. Like, what are you doing right now? What's interesting about you? What makes you violently differentiated? And what things can you actually bring into your conversation? Maybe you went paintballing with your friends last Wednesday. I can imagine you going paintball, like some Call of Duty shit, just like 360 no scope and everybody. She's probably not going to understand the reference, but it's just fucking funny. Do you see what I'm saying here though, boys? Make sure you're doing interesting things throughout your life and therefore you've always got conversation material. But if you do run out of shit to say, 
Just own it. Announce it. You know what? My mind has literally just gone blank. I was going to say something. You've distracted me. You're a bad girl. Ah, uh, fuck. It's going to get awkward. Now, the final thing that I will say is, let's say you've been speaking with a girl for 90 seconds. Your mind has gone blank and you can't remember any of the other things I said in this video. Just go for the clothes, okay? Don't just walk off. Having given the girl a compliment, made her feel beautiful, designed and sexy, especially if she's ultra receptive. Don't just walk off because you've run out of things to say. Don't just reject yourself on her behalf. Don't just eject yourself from the conversation because you think it's going to get awkward. You've run out of things to say, even if you've only been speaking for 30 seconds. If you've gone in there, you've made her feel witness, you've made her feel beautiful, you've made her feel sexy, and do not just walk off without going for the number. All right, this is as practical as it gets. You're talking with the girl, your mind goes blank, you don't know what to say, you're thinking about just ejecting, just go for the number. Just be like, listen, I need to go, but this has been really cool speaking with you. You seem like a really fun, interesting person. Tell you what, drop me a number, I'll send you one message, and then you can do whatever you want with that message, all right? So these are the three most practical things I can give you. If you are worried about running out of things to say, own your state, just announce the fact you've run out of things to say, make a conversational thread out of it, humanize your conversation, the girls appreciate, they're not speaking to a fucking robot, use those mind blank moves, so do interesting things, and then use I can imagine you to link it with the girl, and then worst case scenario, you have run out of things to say, you can't remember anything else, just go for the clothes. And the final thing, boys, about running out of things to say, um, it's more of a mindset type of deal, right? You're worried about running out of things to say because you're worried about losing value in the girl's eyes, all right? You're worried about it getting awkward. You're worried about looking stupid, okay? But just play this thought experiment out with me. Imagine you are speaking with a beautiful girl. And you do run out of things to say. And you forget everything that I've just told you. The worst case scenario is you run out of things to say. And can you live with that? The answer is a big fat fucking yes. So oftentimes, guys, guys catastrophize the worst case scenario. It's like Alfred Hitchcock said, there's no terror in the bang, only in the anticipation of it. And we suffer more in imagination than in reality. So point being... Running out of things to say is really not that fucking deep, all right? Even just give yourself permission to run out of things to say. Just see how it makes you feel because usually when guys are in this state of, oh, I'm worried about running out of things to say, they simply not had enough of these conversations or they've not had enough conversations in general. Like when you've got positive social momentum behind you, you've been bounced in between interactions, you've got a good group of mates around you, you've got a hyper social lifestyle where you're finding fulfillment in many things, you're operating from a place of wholeness rather than from a place of lack and running out of things to say just really doesn't matter. Love you.